85-82, your final score here from Joe Eccles Hall, Niagara, with .5 seconds to go. It's a three from Matt Scott to take the ball game here. We're welcoming in now the head coach of Norfolk State, Coach Robert Jones and Coach Jones. Uh, the difference between the first half and the second half wasn't the fact that they made shots. We knew that they would do that. It's, we turned the ball over just a tad bit too many times. We had six at halftime, ended up the game with 18. Yeah, we turned the ball over way too much. We turned the ball over within the zone um, too much. You know, like we had never seen a 2-3 zone before or something. Um, but, um, yeah, turnovers, you know, that, that, that didn't help. Uh, coach, in the first half, it seemed like we did a good job of moving the basketball around and getting some open shots. Even to start the second half, we did a good job of getting some open shots. We came a, came a tad bit too passive when they started going into that 2-3 zone. Yeah, we had some, some silly plays. We caught the ball in the middle. We taking shots that we shouldn't take. We making passes that we can't make. You know, it was just, but those are the turnovers that you were talking about. So it was just some, you know, silly turnovers that we had in the last, you know, of course the last play, but the game never comes down to the last play. But to talk about the last play that we had offensively, you know, we didn't look at the shot clock. You know when it was running down, we had a, a clean look for a shot, but we didn't we didn't take it. You know, we, I guess we thought we had more time on the shot clock, even though we talked about it in the huddle. Uh, one thing I think we have to do as well, Coach. Uh, you look at a game like this, and you look at the difference in the ball game. We missed uh, three free throws tonight, 16 of 19. Mm -hmm. They went 34 times. They made 21 shots from the free throw line. Yeah. We have to find a way to keep teams off the free throw line. Yeah, we do, and that's about moving your feet, playing defense. You know, I mean, showing your hands and things of that nature. Um, you know, we fouled them. We got them in a bonus too early in the second half, and they started, you know, making free throws. They shot way better in the second half than they did in the first half. I mean, uh, for free throw, they shot 75% in the second half, 54 in the, uh, in the first half. So, you know, we got to keep teams off the free throw line. Uh, Coach, we shot the three ball well tonight. I know we wanted to clear that up from last game uh, against uh, Mid-Atlantic Christian. We were 12 of 21 tonight, 57% from the three-point line. And uh, Derek Jameson has uh, started to heat up a little bit, 6 of 7, 5 of 6 from downtown today for 17.6 rebounds and three of those offensive. He's been becoming a little bit more active for you. Well, he is. He's, doing, he's shooting the ball like we said. We, like we know he can shoot the ball. So, um, you know, he's doing his job. You know, other guys have to step up today and do their job, and I don't think we got great efforts from uh, – from everybody today but um you know hey it's a team game and you know we're going to learn from this you know we won't let uh, a zone stifle us again for whatever reason that that happened today but um you know it won't happen again our next opponent is eastern kentucky next week and uh a team that we know a little bit about we played them a couple of times uh we have them uh, in in kentucky i know we're going to have a conversation after the ball game but what, what's going to be the thing that you have to get uh, through your team uh, tonight and tomorrow before you play Eastern Kentucky on Monday? Uh, well, you know, tonight is going to be tough to do anything. Um, tomorrow, you know, we fly out to Eastern Kentucky. So it's a, it's a tough stretch for us. But uh, once we land in Eastern Kentucky, we'll talk about some of the stuff that we need to improve, you know, from today. And we'll talk about Eastern Kentucky scout. All right, Coach, we thank you for your time and thank you for stopping by. Your final score, 85-82, Norfolk State falls to Niagara here at Joe Hall. We'll take a timeout. You're listening to NSU Basketball right here on the NSU Sports Network.